What is going on, everyone? Today, wait, what, what am I doing? What do you think I am, Casey Neistat? I'm not gonna wear sunglasses inside. That'd be ridiculous. All right, so today I got a rather unexpected package from AMD, which is sitting right here. And I know it's inside already. It's Vega 56, which is the only graphics card they're sending me in the Vega stack. But I will be planning to go pick up a Vega 64 GPU on Monday. I'm gonna be lining up at Micro Center early in the morning, and if uh, you guys want to see a vlog of that trip up to Micro Center, let me know down in the comments below. But today we are just going to be unboxing Vega 56. I just found out this was coming today, and then they're like, yeah, it's coming today. But we're, and we're sending, it, we sent it, and it's, it's coming today. I was like, oh, okay. So I don't have a lot of time to test this between now and Monday, but I'm, I'm confident it'll be, it'll be enough time for me, honestly, because I do so much GPU testing anyway, it's kind of become old hat at this point. So uh, yeah, let's get into unboxing this. I'm going to be testing it up against the uh, GTX 1070s. That's really its best competitor. And I actually uh, just picked one of those up as well. I literally just got back from Best Buy where I picked up this GTX 1070 for $460. I paid cash money, my own money right here. I paid for this at Best Buy, $460, so that I can have a GTX 1070 for testing on the channel, specifically up against Vega 56, which I think is going to be able to bring us a lot of content in the future. Let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see me uh, do with that. So let's go ahead and unbox Vega 56. I'm pretty sure this will be a reference model graphics card. I don't think they're sending out adding board partner cards. I'm pretty sure it'll be reference, but you never know because I, I, I just I don't know myself. There we go. All right, so there's a peek inside. We've got some of the infamous AMD red bubble wrap, which they're always including in their packaging that they send out to me. And there it is. Okay, so this is looking like this is not retail packaging here at all. This is just the graphics card inside all of this foam. So there it is, right there. Definitely not retail packaging. So I guess we're not gonna have a look at what that is all like. We're just gonna have uh, the graphics card. And it does look like it is a reference model card. Nothing else in here, just a whole lot of uh, gray foam. I, I could do this for some sound dampening, actually. Maybe I could build like one of those like a poor little portable like little boxes for like talking into in the microphone that, that could be good but yeah that was it no no packaging no retail packaging so i guess we're not going to have a look at what that is all about but we've got the rx vega 56 card here nonetheless and there it is looking very similar to the rx 480 cards although hell of a lot longer than the rx 480 for sure uh, it does have dual eight pin power connectors on here and also a really nice solid black backplate. No design on there or any kind or any type of fins, just solid piece of metal running across the back. Really quite like that a bit. And it looks like we also have a on or off switch on here for, or an indi yeah, two switches on or off for red or blue LEDs. Not sure what that illuminates on this particular graphics card. I'll have to figure that out. We'll go over all of it. Uh, in the review for the RX Vega 56. So there it is. Really excited to uh, get testing this guy. It's dual 8-pin power connectors. That's going to be godly, but it's got 8 gigabytes of HBM2, so that's going to be awesome. And I also got the GTX 1070 here. I may as well go ahead and open that real quick while I'm at it. It's a PNY graphics card, but it is not reference, although it may use a reference PCB. If you know for sure if the XLR8 uses a reference PCB or not, let me know down in the comments below. I'll probably Google it myself and look it up, but I think it's a reference PCB just based on how affordable this card is. It was $430 plus tax. It was $460, and reference cards are $399, so I think it's, I think it's a reference PCB. Not really too impressed with the uh, packaging on this one, although I guess it's a little bit better than how I got the Vega 56, which was just uh, anti-static wrapping inside a styrofoam case. There we go. Slick looking little card. GTX 1070 right there. All black. Well, got transparent fans. Little gray and red logo there for XLR8. Whatever the hell that means. And uh, yeah, exposed PCB. No backplate. So this is sort of one of the more affordable GTX 1070s out there. Single A-pin power connector. So this is probably going to consume a lot less power than the RX uh, Vega 56. I almost called it a 580. So yeah, that's that's gonna be the um, the main matchup I'll be doing with these cards. And like I said, I will be heading up to Micro Center early on Monday morning so that I could pick up a GTX, not, not a GTX, a Vega 64 card, which I will 
test against my GTX 1080. So be on the lookout for that content. If you enjoyed this uh, quick unboxing of Vega 56 and I guess the GTX 1070 as well, uh, leave a like on the video down below and subscribe if you're not already so you can see all of those future uploads like the benchmarking with these two cards here, Vega 64 up against the GTX 1080. Yeah, subscribe for all of that content. And if you want to know as soon as I upload those videos, you can always hit the notification bell down below so that you'll know as soon as they go up. That's basically, that's basically what it's for. That's why they call it a notification bell. Derp. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. Ta-da. Okay, honey, I'm done! And, and if you try to interrupt my recording again, I'm going to, I'm going to smash your apples. I'll smash all your apples on the floor.